everyone welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel my name is Jenna before we get into today's motivating video please make sure to like and subscribe to become part of my YouTube family I post every single Monday Wednesday Friday usually at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time okay so as you see here this is my very small laundry room um, it's, I mean, it's a decent size, I suppose, but it's just the way that wall is and how the washer and dryer have to fit in there that I think makes it really small. And there's just so much crap in this laundry room. All of the clean loads of laundry, the dirty, the million pairs of shoes, the patio furniture, little pads that we sit on outside. It's just unnecessary stuff that does not need to be in there, especially since we won't be using our patio furniture cushions until like April. I mean, we live in Ohio right now and it's like, what, 40 degrees out? We are not going to be sitting on that, especially with snow coming just around the corner here. So this is going to seem like a lot, a lot of shoes, but it is just my husband Zach's, mine, and then our daughter Savannah's shoes because our son Maverick is going to be six months old soon, so he is not in any shoes. But oh my gosh, this is my biggest pet peeve ever. I hate all of the shoes being thrown up there, and I can barely reach. I am on a ladder right now getting these down like it seriously drives me insane I really want to get like little baskets I think that would be super cute that you know like Zach could put his shoes in I could put mine Savannah can put hers and then Mavericks I think that would be the best thing for us to do instead of just lining them up as you will see that what I end up doing but I think baskets could really really help us out and just to be a little bit more organized up there for sure Well, I hope you guys are ready for a really good laugh because, oh gosh, my husband and I, we were just making fun of each other. I tried so hard to get this drying rack out of this laundry room. It is ridiculous. I cannot tell you how long I stood there trying to do that on camera and off camera. I was getting so frustrated. And then my husband, Zach, he's like, how did we, he's like, I can do that. That's really easy. And how'd you get it in there and making fun? And oh my gosh, we had a good time trying to get that out. But as you see, it is, it's a tight fit there. And the reason why we have that is because we were hanging up the cloth diapers to dry, but we realized what's the point. There's seriously like no room 
and it doesn't really even get them dry. We usually hang dry them, but now that it's getting so cold out, we can't. So now we're having to use the dryer, but we did end up getting it out, and Zach realized taking the carpet cleaner out first is the best way for us to get that out. Here you guys might get another good laugh. Um, I was really, really struggling with trying to reach those paint cans back there. And Zach is just recording me laughing the entire time. He thought it was hilarious that I was struggling and could not get it. I couldn't fit a ladder, the little ladder back there to get it. So I was on my really, really high tippy toes trying to reach everything and put all of that back there. Honestly, I should have thrown these boxes away because they're like empty boxes for our internet and I just, I don't know, I just didn't want to mess with it at that point. I was kind of frustrated because I couldn't really reach, so what I was just at this point like, whatever, let's just get this clean, let's get this organized, let's just get it done. Are you guys ever like this whenever you're cleaning or if you're doing like a project with your significant other, are you like, all right, let's just get this done, you know, we, we just need to do this, let's just get this done. Please let me know if I am or I am not the only one that feels this way whenever doing a project with my husband or your significant other. Please let me know in the comments down below. I really want to know. Let me just say, I was really surprised with how dirty this room got. I was so surprised, okay? Like, you know, you wouldn't think that such a small room that you don't spend any time in would get so dirty, but oh my gosh, it was so dirty. I mean, obviously, yeah, the washer and dryer from the lint, I mean, I get that, but the fronts of them were so dirty, and then the sides, and the floor was dirty, like, everything was just so dirty in there, and I was, like, really disgusted. I'm like, seriously? And as you saw over there, yeah, we do have that little dog bed in there, because our one corgi does have to sleep in here. Well, we end up both of them love to sleep in there. They love to sleep on that bed together. That is their thing. But our one corgi, he is really notorious for chewing things up, anything. If none of Savannah's toys are out, he will chew on my rug or he will just find something to chew on. And he, I mean, he's four and a half years old. So I, I don't know what his deal is. He just really likes to chew, I guess. Anyways, he just sleeps in there and it works out. So I think that's probably where some of the dirt came from was, you know, there was some dog hair in there and some dirt as you saw. So that's probably where the dirt came from and probably just from my husband's construction clothes, especially with all the dirt and concrete and just the elements of outside coming off of his clothes. So that'll probably explains why it was so dirty. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and it motivated you to clean or do something in your house. I'm really excited to get the baskets up top. I think it'll really pull the room together. I'm just, I'm excited. I'm glad that I got this room cleaned. That is for sure. But again, I hope you enjoyed this. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I've never really been the one who's worried. Always been the one who's keeping it cool The kind of guy who chill while others hurry I didn't know that I've been the fool I've been telling lies about something real But I know love is based on honesty Kept thinking how we love should feel Knowing that it's not just you I was made to be free